Hi, we're here. Now we're going to discuss making infused oils and briefly the making salves out of your infused oils. So we start off with plant material as usual. Here we have yarrow, elderleaf, and comfrey. Now when using making oils, everyone knows oil and water don't mix, so typically you want to use dried herbs to infuse in an oil. That's not always the case, as is the case with yarrow and elderleaf, which both do not extract in a dried state in oil, and you have to use fresh to make your oil. This is a comfrey leaf, which we want to dry these comfrey leaves, grind them up coarsely into a powder, or chop them up, same way Maya's doing here with the fresh material, as same way with the tinctures and infusion, coarsely chopped, we want to chop things up, or powder if you have it well dried, to increase the area for surface ex for surface area for extraction. The idea is very similar to making a tincture, except in an oil, we're using oil to extract uh, the, the oil-soluble compounds out of our medicinal plant. So we can take the material, pack it into a jar, the same way we did for a tincture, pour olive oil, you may prefer uh, jojoba oil or almond oil, but extra virgin cold press olive oil works well. Uh, it's fairly neutral. Uh, cover it the same way we covered with alcohol. We just cover the herb with oil. And then this is for a solar extraction, which is our favorite method. And then we'll take that, we'll put it outside in the sun for a week. We have a little solar box that we'll put it in if it's cooler or windy or inclement weather. If it's going to be cool at night, bring it in so you don't have drastic temperature changes. Uh, but about a week in the sun is what it needs. St. John's wort may need two weeks in the sun. If you don't want to do the sun, you can do the crock pot method, which is a similar thing. You put the herbs in the crock pot, you cover it with oil, and you get it to its lowest setting. Sometimes low is still too high. If you can get it on a dimmer switch and have full control to get that down as low as it can possibly go, otherwise keep an eye on it, keep a thermometer in there, try not to let it get above 110. Stir Just it off. Just turn it off every five minutes yeah, or something. Yeah, if you can't get it on a dimmer switch and it gets it. too high, turn it on, turn it off, keep stirring it up, moving it around. And typically 24 hours in a crock pot at the straight 110 is, is sufficient enough. Uh, again, sometimes you may need more than a day, but about 24 hours in a crock pot or a week in the sun is, is good. And then same way, strain it off through cheesecloth and then take your oil and, and decant. If it's a fresh one made from these fresh herbs, you want to let it sit after you pour it and decant it, which means let it sit. Any sludge or water that has mixed with the oil will settle to the bottom. Pour off the good oil on the top, leave the sludge at the bottom to discard so it doesn't make your oil rancid, expire early. Uh, you can take these oils and use them as massage oils. You can combine different infused oils together. You can combine different herbs to infuse in an oil together. Um, this is the basic of basis of making all the different salves that we have, whether it's extracting chickweed in oil for skin conditions, or rose hips in oil for skin conditions, or yarrow and elder for traumatic wounds and, and bleeding and burning. Uh, wonderful things to have around to be able to apply topically. These are used topically, tinctures more internally, although you can use tinctures topically as well. But that's what we do with the oils, and then the oils are a base. You can mix with another oil, such as coconut oil, and some beeswax, essential oils, vitamin E, that sort of thing. And that's how you make a salve. By melting it over low heat, you want the heat as low as possible so you don't denature any of the oils. Just hot enough to dissolve the beeswax into the, into the oils. You pour that off into your containers and it'll harden into salves. Now we will supply you with all of this information and more detail on our website, itoacres.com. On the resources tab, we'll have a tincture and oil making document and we'll supply that to the Blue Ridge Eco Fair as well. So real briefly, that was how to make oils and salves. Did you have anything you wanted to add? Just one more thing to mention with, if you do the solar infused method with fresh herbs, you wanna make sure to stir it every day because it's of the moisture coming out of it and if you it gets like mold mm -hmm, and, and we like to shape put it in a hot spot but not let the direct sun hit it too much so you could shade it in a hot spot a little bit we put a newspaper over it in a cold frame or something like that mm -hmm. that's it give thanks